hi, I'm, I'm Will Rosie, um, AKA Mr. Mosaic. I live in Southampton and I create mosaics and I stick them all over the city. What I want to do is I want to make Southampton as popular for its mosaics as Barcelona is. And my intention is to just continually spend my hours sticking up mosaics all over the place and try and encourage other people to stick mosaics up. And then eventually the whole of Southampton will be covered in mosaics and people will be going, do you know what? Why do I want to go somewhere really hot and sunny like Barcelona to see mosaics when I can go to Southampton, the California of England? I've always been uh, involved in art. In fact, the only high grade pass that I got from school was a C in art. So it's natural that I end up becoming an artist. The first time I got arrested was for criminal damage, so it makes sense that I put those two skills together and, you know, do criminal damage art. More people than not have been more happy with me going around sticking my mosaics up. It's become a thing, uh, and now I'm kind of like, I think I'm considered kind of like a, a little a Southampton treasure because I add a little a little something different to the city and it's not really hurting anybody and you'd really have to be kind of like I don't know just sort of like I don't know, just a really horrible person to want to stop someone like me from beautifying my city uh, the, so business wise, I've been running, I've been doing Mosaic since 2007. So from a business point of view, that definitely came first. And then what happened was we got hit by that wonderful thing called uh, COVID. So everything shut down and I was left thinking, well, what am I going to do? So I thought, right, well, I'll kill time by making these little mosaics. I thought it'd be great for us to have a permanent art trail in Southampton. So that was it. I took it upon myself to start making them. Why Southampton? Southampton is, uh, it's my hometown. I mean, I wasn't born in Southampton, I was born in Salisbury and also spent some time living in the West Country until I was about 10. Then my family moved down here. So I've been, I've been in the city for like 39 years because I'm old. You know, the, the longer I live here, the more of a connection that I have with it. And especially having to start doing the mosaics, I've been learning so much about the city, all these different places and you know, what's a listed building, why I shouldn't put a mosaic on, all that kind of stuff. It's around about, there's around about 100 publicly viewable mosaics that I've done in Southampton. Some of them have been commissioned by different kind of like organisations or, or you know, private businesses, but the majority of them are my freebies that I've basically been gifting to the city. I'm just doing one at the moment, which is a QR code. So I've been, been contacted by a firm who want me to create mosaic QR codes for them, which will be scannable from the other side. So they're having to be like 1.1 square meters and you need to be able to scan them from the other side of the road. And they wanted something a little bit more classy than just printing out a graphic. But once I'm building mosaics, I'm literally in the zone. So that's another exciting one. I'm building a Boba Fett mosaic. So anyone who watched Star Wars, right, knows that he's the best character in the whole series. That's gonna go on the orange rooms in Southampton. So if you go clubbing or pubbing or kind of like that in-betweenish thing, yeah, you'll be able to see Boba Fett. I'm only halfway through at the moment though, it takes time. So that's what happened. I was reading reading a story to a lad that we were looking after at the time because we foster, and uh, I was looking at the Mr. Man book. I thought I could make mosaics out of all these front covers. And that's literally what I did because they're quite they're fairly simple and not as time consuming as others. So I could lose a day or so making them, like spending time going around sticking them up. So that kind of influenced me there. So I just come up with ideas, and I'm like, I want to make that into a mosaic. So, uh, like a bit later on, I know that we're going to be going out and we're going to be sticking Sno Snoopy's popular. So we're going to go and stick Snoopy up on the wall. So I've even got my go in a quick bag here with Snoopy in it. There. This is the main ring road that runs right the way through the, the estate of Millbrook. We're going to be putting one on the wall up here. That's on reckon. Uh, awesome, here we are in Millbrook and uh, we're going to be putting a mosaic on this wall. I've discovered this wall belongs to the council, which basically means it belongs to me, uh, so I'm putting a mosaic on it. First of all, I'm going to put some tape on there to make sure that if you're doing illegal graffiti, mosaic stuff, you want to be classy about it and you don't want to leave a mess. That's what's going on. I've got Snoopy, that's going on there. So, first things first, Going to need to mix up some adhesive. I need about a 
cup full of adhesive. You want it the consistency of like a stodgy cream potato. So, one thing I forgot to bring was like a, stir, uh, a spreading tool. So what I'm going to do is mix this up on the back here, get it close to the edges. So you can see it's going to start slipping down as it's doing already. So you catch it, drag it up and stick it to the surface. I need to mix up some grout now. So this is, this is the tiling cement. Right, I'm gonna to have to take all that off. You just keep that in place like that, please. Thank you, mate. So you're gonna to have to keep that quite stuck to the wall. As, um, freaked me there Jack, I wasn't expecting you to creep round to the side there and I was thinking who is that just suddenly turned up blindsided me like that. Sorry. That's alright, nothing like a little bit of adrenaline to add to your day. Right, you're going to have to hold it there quite steady, don't let it slip while I clean it down. It's either going to be a little bit like a TED talk or stand up, depending on how many pints I drink before I start talking.